Hi friends, good to see you. I hope you enjoyed that hello song. We are going to start our day like we normally do with wish you well. So you can take your hands and put them on your heart and we're just gonna wish everyone well because we're all at home right now. So hands on our hearts, here we go. We wish you well, we wish you well. All through the day today, we wish you well. I wish you well and I wish everyone in your family well. I hope that you are staying nice and cozy and toasty warm today. All right, today is um, Wednesday, February 22nd, 2023. So we are going to do 22 taps. You can tap on your legs or you can tap on your shoulders. Okay, so let's count with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 22. All right, I'm going to say the date and I want you to repeat it back to me. Today is Wednesday, February 22, 2023. Great job. All right, we're going to sing the weather song, but I think we all know what it's like outside, so sing loud and proud with me. What's the weather like today, like today, like today? What's the weather like today, today? It's, take a look outside. I have a really big window. It is very snowy out today. It's snowy out today. It's snowy out at our home. It's snowy out today. It is also really starting to get windy as well. We are at home today because there is so much snow. It is going to be very cold and the wind is going to blow really hard. So it's gonna make it really hard to see when we start to drive or we try to commute to school or go to school. So we are at school or at home today. We are going to do um, Haggerty, a little bit of Haggerty with Miss Andrea right now. And then we are also going to read a story. Um, and then we're also going to do a I love you ritual and then we will have an activity at the end that you can go ahead and click on and take a look at too. So let's do Haggerty first. We are going to do a little bit of rhyming and then we're going to do some compound words. Okay. So first rhyming, let's wiggle those fingers, wiggle those wrists. I'm going to say two rhyming words. I want you to repeat after me. Okay. So I will speak and then I won't speak, but I'll put my hands out like we normally do at school. Okay. Repeat after me. Bed sled. B tree. Cat hat. Snow toe. Good job. All right, now we are going to do some compound words. So we're gonna get our choppers ready. Hi-ya! And we're going to say two parts of the word and then we're gonna make it into a full word. So here we go. Snow ball, snowball. Snow man, snowman. Snow fall, snowfall. Snow flake, snowflake. Snow plow, snow plow. Good job. All right, let's check those out. Here we go. Now we are going to do an I love you ritual. We've been practicing those um, in our seats and Miss Andrea has done it in front of you, but I'm going to show you how you can do this with a friend. All right, friends, we are going to do the I love you ritual that we've been practicing in school. I have my daughter Paisley. She is five, so she's going to help out too. We have done this at home a lot, but normally um, for parents, 
I have my kiddos lay on the floor and do this with them. Um, it started out with diaper changes and then it's just kind of grown into something we've always done as they've gotten bigger. When we do this at school, it is um, hands off. So I just show on my body, they show on their body, and then our touch is just with our fingertips. So when we do I Love You rituals, it's all about connection. So it's building that relationship, that trust, um, and that love between student and teacher. And there always needs to be a connection with eye to eye contact and also <coughs> physical touch. So we do just fingertips. Okay, Fingers. here we go. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. From your toes to your nose, I love you. From your toes to your nose, I love you. From your knees and your thighs, all the way to your eyes. From your toes to your nose, I love you. And then you can give a big hug. So what we have done is um, instead of the ling with the fingertips, since you are usually the parent or grandparent or aunt or uncle and you have that relationship, you can always give a hug instead of I love you and, and doing that with your hands, you can give a big squeeze. She really likes that. You can decide with your, with your preschooler how they feel about that. Uh, All right. Read a book. I am going to read a book next. So can you say bye-bye? Bye. -bye? Bye. You. So that is our I love you ritual. Um, that one I actually made up myself with my own children, but you can do any tune. The, um, the importance is, is that the adult is having that connection, both eye connection and physical touch as well to help build that relationship. So we've been doing it a little bit in class and the students have enjoyed doing it. We will also make it a job pretty soon. Students don't know that. But we're going to make that a job pretty soon where they get to choose which I Love You ritual it is. Um, it is the I Love You ritual is from Conscious Discipline. It is part of our social emotional curriculum that we've been doing. And the children seem to really, really enjoy it. Most of the I Love You rituals are nursery rhymes that have been changed a little bit so that you can do a connection piece with it um, and that the nursery rhymes aren't maybe as so dim as they used to be. They're a little bit more fun. So um, we are now going to read our story. It is called Snowball Moon. And that is one of our compound words that we did earlier. It is written by Fran Cannon Slayton and illustrated by Tracy Bishop. Snowball Moon. I'm gonna get a little closer so you can see better. Snowy night, firelight, cozy flames, friendly games. Lights go out, a scream, a shout, every eye on the sky. I'm hearing a lot of rhyming words in this story. Snowball moon, bright as noon. Mittens, boots, warm snow suits. We've been talking a little bit about space lately and the moon is not a crescent, it is a full moon. That means it's a big circle and it's very bright. Grab the sled from the shed race outside for a ride. Down the hill, winter thrill. Frozen lake, where's the break? Looks like they're gonna go right under that ice. Woo! Slide and slip. Double flip, upside down, spinning round. Looks like they started spinning on that ice, but I see in their faces they are happy. Get up, sport. Build a fort. Snow. 
snowball fight. What a night. Frosty fun, nearly done. One more ride, warm inside. Rosy nose, icy toes, goodbye snow, hot cocoa. Droopy eyes, snowflake skies, counting sheep, fall asleep. Sleepy heads, dream of sleds, Come back soon, Snowball Moon. The end. So that is Snowball Moon. You might be able to get outside and play a little bit in the snow before it gets to be a blizzard later on, but this is going to be part of your homework. So we sent home a page that has a big rectangle on it and it asks, what do you see outside of your window? You can either draw a picture of it at night or at daytime and then have a parent or a, an adult that can help you write out the words underneath what you see out of your window, okay? And then you can bring that to school or you can take a picture of it and just send it to me through CISA and we will see all the different things that are outside of each and every person's window. All right, friends, that is it. So I wish you well, and I hope that you have a wonderful snowy filled evening, and we will see you on Monday. Take care.